The newcomers that are coming into, their, uh, into our area have a, a couple options when it comes to starting a small business. Obviously the first one, um, the easiest example would be just to buy a pre-existing for sale business. Maybe those businesses do come for sale once in a while, but it's really uh, up to the business owner when they want to sell, right? So it's tough to predict. Um, but a lot of people are setting up, uh, and, and our, our biggest uh, example is kind of our food industry. So we take the town of, of Hellberry right downtown, but we have a, a brewery, a, a microbrewery whiskey jack, and across the street we have um, another restaurant there as well. I was uh, actually introduced by a friend uh, to the Miskaming Shore area and uh, during my visit I liked the area. I, uh, you introduced me to different people uh, for this community and it was a good experience. If you look at uh, this way, you know, compared to the big cities, we have uh, less expense and uh, uh, the price is low. In a city, there's a lot of guys like me. There's a lot of martial arts schools like the one that I would like to build. In a smaller town, there is not as much competition. I could be more unique, so I can build a niche market and then I can become the martial arts school that everybody knows, as opposed to one of the martial arts schools in the city. From Toronto, we didn't really know about Haleybury. We had never heard about Haleybury till we saw the posting of this motel. When we came here, we didn't know anything about running a motel. So the old owners who were running the motel, they just trained us. They had an overlap. So we worked at the motel with them for about a month to get a hang of what is done, what has to be done, the routines, and we just took it from there. When we took over the motel, we did a lot of advertising and that brought in a lot of guests into the community, into our motel. And when guests come into the motel, the community is indirectly benefited because these guests will stay here, but they will do things in the community. They go out for lunches, dinners, they go out for bowling, they go out for golfing, they do hikes, they go fishing and stuff. We've all, all organized like fishing charters for them. There's a person who does fishing charters and the beautiful fish you catch. It, it's just a four hour drive, four hour fishing charter. And then we're talking to the golf courses. So the community as a whole is benefited by these tourists coming in. And, and here the tourism is not just a summer tourism, it's also winter tourism. So I think as a community, we, we grow, we help the community grow. Yeah, Chamber of Commerce uh, is really helpful resource for the new business owners and then uh, even for the research to find what type of services the community or the town required. The Chamber can be a good source for them because they have a whole directory and all the businesses are associated with the Chamber of Commerce so they know what sort of industry has an appetite to grow and what sort of industry can allied to the existing uh, businesses. This is a franchise, so I follow their, their guidance. Um, so they help in the process as well, so which they did. So that made it easier. Um, and then after that, then I uh, explored everything here by myself. So um, going to the Chamber of Commerce, you know, getting some help from them, um, getting help from the city. Um, so the process was made easier because you were given the right direction to go to. Um, so I never faced any problems. So I mean, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, s smaller stuff is always there, but no big hurdles, you know, getting permits and stuff like that. The city is there, you know, they're pretty lenient. They'll help you out wherever you need it. This is a wonderful place to be a business person because everyone supports everyone. We all want each other to do well. While yes, there is some healthy competition, there is a culture of support. I want my competitor to succeed because we will both do well. I think in Temiskaming Shores, it's, I don't wanna say it's easy to establish a business because establishing a business is of course a complicated and complex process. But I think here in Temiskaming Shores, you will be part of a community that is so excited and eager to have your business, you will realize you'll think that the process is easy because you have the community support.